Welcome back to Good Company. We now have with us Doug Brown, who's a professional skateboarder and also an author and who's been devoting his time to making kids and helping kids stay on the right path. Doug, great to see you here. And You've got this great book, too. It's called Beyond the Board. I got a book out. What can I say? <laughs> now, tell me about this book. Uh, of course, you are a professional skateboarder, but That's you've correct. really put your time now in, into doing this uh, and to helping the youth out. Yeah, I started a program called Skate Straight. I turned pro as a professional skateboarder in 2002 as a result of being discovered the Gravity Games. Right. So, so I'm, I'm doing all these things, you know, the, the competitions and this and that, and Dare America used to send me out on the road to talk to the kids, and I saw what a, an impact I was having on the youth, and that I, I was a mentor, and I was embracing that. So from that, I, I had a, my book was actually on my website. I was getting such a positive feedback, so my agent, we went after a publisher, and next thing I know, here I am doing book events, and it's crazy. And now let's talk a little bit about you and how your career got started. Back to the Future and Michael J. Fox, that's, uh, that's the reason you're here today. It has a big part. I, I saw the movie. I saw Michael J. Fox rolling down Doc's <laughs> driveway, and there was something that, about that that I identified with. It was like being a superhero or something in, in grade school, and I never stopped because skateboarding has been popular and not popular, and right. now it's obviously popular again. But. And through then, my 20s, I kept doing it through ec for exercise and fun. And right. It, you know, it really is a, it's an athletic sport. You have to be an athlete to be able to do this. What's interesting to me, though, is you weren't a professional until 2002. And when you went to your first event, you had no idea that you were going to get to participate in that event, did you? None whatsoever. Um, I was a guitar teacher, of all things, for a good decade mm -hmm. after high school. You know, I was a big dreamer. I wanted to get into the arts, do music. So I'm going to the, the Gravity Games as a right. spectator here in Cleveland, ironically. And, uh, you know, I saw the pros warming up on the ramps. <laughs> and I thought, me being so proactive and getting excited, I, I had to bust out and skate. Right. So I went back to the parking garage, got my helmet, everything looking pretty official. <laughs> I go up to the security lady and she's all, well, you know, this is for invite only. And, and I said, well, I'm Doug Brown and I'm here to skate. She goes, oh, yeah, I know who you are, go ahead. So life sure is, she does. She knows yeah, who you are, right? Right. So life is about choices. I'm at a fork in the road. I could go back, sit and watch, which isn't me, or join the pros in a harmless session of them warming up. Right. And that's what I did. And as a result, uh, I got picked up by a sponsor there. They had the booths, you know, of everybody. And I caused a reaction. The photographers shifted over and they saw my eclectic style of skateboarding. And... From then, that company sent me out on tour, and I was doing industry events and competitions, and, you know, this whirlwind of activities was happening, and, yeah, the guitar teaching definitely went backside, and skateboarding became my full-on career. It's my job. And you brought some video, too. Let's take a look at you in action now. And how much training goes into being a skateboarder? Because this isn't something you can just pick up a board and go. Right. I skate every single day, and the days I don't skate, I have a little exercise bike, and, you know, I'm like the, the gerbil or the hamster. It is important to stay physically fit because my body, at my age, I'm 36 now, I, I take a lot of hits. Well, and when you take one of those too, because this is definitely a, it's a perilous sport, I would say, how do you bounce back from that? You, you sure you have some padding on, but you're, you're pretty exposed. And it, okay, for example, right there, something goes wrong on that flip, uh, you're in trouble. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, and I worry, I've been skating for well over 20 years, so is my luck running out or what have you, but now it's, it's my passion and it is my job. I have to keep doing it right. to survive. But I, I plan on skating forever, as long as I can still keep moving and walk. And there's plenty of guys out west. I've skated with the old Z-Boys, guys like Tony Alva. And they're in their early 50s, Peggy Oki, all those guys. They still skate. And we don't have much time left, Doug, but it's important for you to work with the youth. You, you go to the juvenile detention centers. And how, does this, you know, how is this positive on their lives? What is this able to do for them to get kids on the right track? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many kids going down the wrong path. When I was an adolescent, I was looking to rock stars or, you know, people to look at. And like I said earlier, I embraced who I was. I'm this guy that can reach kids. So I'm getting the opportunity to go to these detention centers and make a difference just in words, not even skating. Yep. And, uh, yeah, that's my passion. My Skate Straight program, skatestraight.org, okay. uh, is really my focus in what I'm doing now. And Doug, great talking to you. It's, the book is called Beyond the Board. You see it there. Uh, so you can get it there. You can also get it at Amazon. Yeah, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Borders, or beyondtheboard.net. All right. Well, Doug, thanks for stopping by. Let's do it again soon. Absolutely. Thanks. All right. That's Doug Brown, professional skateboarder and author. And right now, let's send it over to Andrea. Are you throwing a graduation party and you just don't know where to start? 
Well, today we're going to try.